Bro, that game was complete. Like, if you could sum up Pascal Siakam's bubble career, that's what that game was, basically, right? Like, yo, honestly, I feel like Pascal is missing that that Warden Station beef patty or some shit. Yeah. He's missing something from Toronto, because like, there is no way in hell like you go from like an all star, and then all of a sudden you go missing for six months because COVID hit the bubble, you trashed the bubble, and now you're like horrendous, man. Like, what the fuck's going on? Sorry, my language, sorry, but. Yeah, no, it's all, it's all good. Toronto, Toronto Strip Club just hit different, right? Yo, weird, man. Toronto hits different, man. That's what it is. This was missing, yo. It's a strip club. He's missing strip clubs. Yo, he's missing. He's missing. Um, what's that? What's that strip club on Young Street? Uh, Z- um, Z- Zanzibar. Zanzibar. My man's just Zanzibar, yo. That's yeah, what but, you know, but on the real though, like Pascal, I feel like he's like a type of guy that literally is like he feeds off the crowd and. The fact that 100%. you can see the way, he, like, he's been playing decent, but, like, in terms of, like, game winners and stuff, there's one example I want to tell you. Remember that Philadelphia game when we, after we lost Kawhi, and he hit that N1 uh, on Al Horford? Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. We, we ended that game on a 10-0 run, and Pascal hit an N1 on Al Horford, and he, he was on the floor. He's like, N1! Yeah, because he's, am- he's amped, yo. He's, like, he feeds he's off the crowd. Him. Yeah, the crowd, exactly. The and, like, if that was there, and if that was, was hyping him up, Legit, that that little la, la, last second finger roll would have legit gone in, yo. Hundred percent. Or like you mean, done something. I don't know, man. Like we can sit here and be like, yo, what if, what that? All I'm saying, yo, like Pascal shouldn't be doing the the game winners, man. Like, like this is another one he blew. He blew two others. I forget the other, the second one that he blew recently. Oh, well, it was against, it was against Golden State and Portland back to back. Yeah, yo, see, like. Man. But those ones, but those ones were to win the game, though, right? This, yeah. this one's to tie the game, and he, like, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, oh, yeah. But you saw how angry he was when he missed it, like, because it went, it was literally going in and it just rolled out, came out, right? No, um, Nick Nurse uh, planned that play up so well, though, him, so yeah. well, like we cleared up the path for him. He got the ball. He beat his defender. He beat yeah, he, him. he got the he he put the uh, he had the rookie on the island. Yeah, he put him his own island and legit, like, I don't know what the hell happened. Like, the ball just couldn't fall in, man. It was, it but was... honestly, like, we can sit here and just and, and just bash Pascal all we want. Yeah. But Ari and Norman Powell missed two free throws before that, right? For sure. And, and that also killed us, right? Imagine, you know, picture this, you know, like, if, if Pas- sorry, not Pascal, if Powell, Powell and Powell and Ari both hit those free throws, and both went to it. Two, two, it would have been a one possession game when they hit. Uh, it would have been a one possession game. It would have been a tie game as well. Think mm-hmm. about that, yo. But man, like legit, like I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. Like we legit need to figure it out. And like, no, but this is a game we should have got. I mean, we dropped that back to back against Boston. Which Minnesota. Is Boston's a good team. They have our numbers in that sense. But yo, we should yo we should destroy Minute. We let them walk all over us, man. Like. We had the lead for the most part of the game, and then we gave it up in the fourth. They, they started making shots. No, yeah, actually, the third quarter. It was the third quarter, sorry. Let me ask you a question. Do you know yeah. who Vanderbilt is? Do I know him? No. See, neither did I. And tonight, this guy had 12 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, fam. How many blocks did he have? He's the one who blocked uh, Pascal at no, the end, right? He had two, two blocks. He, ba- he, he two blocked blocks. Pascal right at the end of the game. Yo, and like... Yo, I, I, uh, I don't know, man. Like... No. La- Lowry really, Lowry really got us back in this game, though. Yo, who, you know who else like had a good game against us today? You know, yo, you know guy Noel, Noel or whatever. <laughs> no. Noel? Yo, I can't look, I can't these, look like... yo, it's like all these unknown buckets just showing up at nowhere, and it's like it's killing us, man. This guy had eleven points, two assists, yo. Like yeah. he looked like some, he looked like someone I went to school with. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bad. Yo, Towns, Town, bro. When Benbury got that and one at the end, yeah. and then and then uh, fouled out Colin Anthony Towns, bro. I'm like, yo, we're gonna get this game. Yo, I thought we were walking home with this game because yo, we put that pressure on what, who's I think it was Malik Beasley who was yeah. the bounds. Yeah, he stepped that bounds, yeah. Yeah, and then we, yo, this is where if 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 Pascal fucking got the ball in, man, or like this, like we had, I think we had extra like two seconds on the clock. He should have scored yeah. a little a little bit or like just. I don't know, man. I don't. Know. I could sit here and say this and that, 
So yo, it ha- whatever game's over. We play we play them again in what between two days. Uh, yeah, we, we usually with the Western Conference teams, we usually play one and one, right? One at home and one. But they literally, technically, when we're talking technically, they broke their their record uh, today with us because we've beaten them for 17 years in a row at home, right? Yeah, but yeah. we're in Tampa Bay, so does that really count? No, hell no, hell no. That shit doesn't count. Man, Ain- anything record wise uh, for home or away doesn't count this year. Cause yo, you ain't. We're, not, we're away the whole way, right? Yeah, we're away the whole way, man. Um. Yo, award station, give Pascal Siakam some bad beef patties, yo. That guy needs it. Markham Station, give him that ex Benedict, bro. Sure, yo, give him that shit, yo. Damn. Aaron, ba- Aaron Baines actually, you know, because we talked about Aaron Baines the past, the last yeah. podcast. Aaron Baines missed an open three in the corner uh, to like tie yo, the game. Aaron Baines missed a shit ton of three points today. I, I remember one in the first quarter. Um, Freddie had a wicked, uh, I think it was a wicked drive, threw down, threw down uh, to Aaron Baines, like, at the corner. This guy just, like. At this at this point, I would sign, I would trade for JaVale McGee right now. You know, at least he would be, uh, he, at least he would do well around the rim. For sure, like, like, think with Aaron Baines, is like, he's like a pylon. He's like a Dion Fanofio. He just stands there and doesn't even move his feet. Like, his feet are not moving. And, like, there's so many plays where they're driving at him. And like the shorter, the shorter players who just throw the wait, ball. Wait, wait. When you said Dion Phaneuf, are you talking about the former captain that's on the Ottawa Senators as well? That's the guy. Of the, <laughs> Leafs, Leafs, <laughs> the Maple Leafs, right? Or former Maple Leaf, yo. He he was known as a pylon too. But we'll talk about him later. But anyways, yeah. so what I was trying to say is yeah. this guy just stood still. So he didn't even move. He didn't even like 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 I forget which, what the, what what defender was, but he was driving. He was driving at at Aaron Baines and then tossed the ball up. Instead of putting his hand up, like what you taught in college or high school, or whatever, this guy just stood there, like smiling at him, you know, like. But he, he didn't have a, a few like solid rebounds. Yeah. When it was a close game. And had a few defensive plays too, um, but there was one sick play that Larry did, where Larry missed the the shot and the Carl yeah, Anthony yeah. Towns got the rebound yeah, yeah, and yeah. he hit it out. Remember, he hit it out. That's a hustle play. He hit it out and that's that's sorry, sorry, and no. Norman Powell basically, I'm getting way too excited. Norman Powell got the ball and yeah. then passed it to Bembry. That's what led to Colin Towns getting uh, fouled out on the and one. Yo, Bembry to me <laughs> is an emergent emergent player, man. Like this guy, like he deserves he more minutes, yeah. Yo, he deserves the minutes, yo. Like like Bembry, like hats off to you, man. Like yo, you're you're earning your minutes, yo. Well deserved, yo. Hundred percent. Like so, the Raptors today, the, the Raptors today though, they shot what? Um they shot 42%, and Minnesota shot 52%, bro. Like, that, that type of defense ain't going to cut it, right? Yo, and, and you know what's also, what's also like, stupid? like we, we're giving Aaron Baines, like, 23 minutes, yo. And don't well, that- I mean, but, like, but realistically, though, if you think about the matchup today, like Towns. Yeah, Towns. Towns is big. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, Chris Boucher would have got eaten today. 100%, yo. But, yo, like, Towns, Towns is my guy, man. Like, I, I, uh, my, my dad's mad happy, yo. He's, like, He's like, yeah, no, I hear him. I'm here. He's watching post game Raptor con from Raptor shit right now. He's yelling at Aaron. <laughs> he's happy or he's mad, pissed off just like us. He's pissed off, yo. He's yelling he, at Aaron. He, 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 he sounds like every Raptors fan right now, bro. Where, yo? So, but, so, so messed up. Oh, bro, they shot 40 punt, 41% from the three point line today. It's ridiculous, man. Like, man, like, yeah, like, like I said today, like, I feel like. We need to reduce the minutes of like Terrence Davis and like, cause uh, he's not cutting. He's not cutting either, man. Like that guy only had what. You know what the perfect player is though. Like what I want to say. Sorry, sorry to cut you off. You fuse Matt Thomas and Terrence Davis, you get the perfect player. You okay? So, uh, since we're talking about uh, Matt Thomas, like I feel like Matt Thomas, like we're we're wasting his talent. Like this guy's amazing. Matt Thomas, your hands down. Like I see JJ Redick and Matt Thomas. But but for some odd reason we're not playing him this year. I don't know why. We're yeah, happy. because of his defense. Because he's a small guard. That's why. Yeah, I, I I get it. I get it. But you know, like we need like like this guy, like he's a wicked three three point player. If you put him in in like in like garbage minutes, he's not gonna hit those threes. Could do three points all about rhythm, right? Yeah, he's all he's been off the bench for so long. Yeah. Yeah, like you like legit. You if we trade this guy for like a solid like a solid like. Off the bench mobile player. I don't know who we can think of, but like I don't know. Jamal, if they're not gonna, if they're not gonna play Matt Thomas, 
They should try to trade for JJ Redick. Yo, hundred percent. Even JJ Redick is sitting is sitting on the bench. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, he's gonna get traded to some team, yeah. and he, more than likely he's gonna go to a contender because he wants to win a ring. But if he doesn't care about that, I would want to get him if he can trade for him. I don't think it takes much to get him. Maybe a second round pick and a player. Patrick McCollum, second round pick. Yo, trust man. Like, even um uh the the what we call it, even if you get JJ Redick on on the Raptors squad, like. I think it would be a good fit, but we just need, like I said earlier in our podcast, we need a big, like we need someone who's mobile and that's and that can like fill the gaps of like Ibaka and Gasol, right? Because like Aaron Baines is not mobile; he just he just stands there and like really slow. At this right? point, I would like I said at this point, like Cleveland, like Andre Drummond is a dream right now because we need to trade a lot of assets for him. Yeah. yeah. We need to pay a lot for him, but I would say if there's one big we can pick off somebody for like crumbs, um, I would I would at least try to get JaVel McGee, bro. Like JaVel McGee, he's a three-time champion. Yeah, he yeah. knows how to finish around the rim. He can he'll dunk everything. We need a big because Van Vliet and um Larry, they love throwing alley oops and they yeah. can't do it because we don't got those bigs that can take care of it. For sure, for sure. Let's see yo, if we I don't know, man. March. I'm waiting for March. Let's see what happens straight off wise. But we'll see. Like, I'm not saying JaVale McGee is... Yeah, I'm not saying JaVale McGee is the answer. No, yeah. But I'm saying even he's him... He's a band-aid. He's a band-aid solution for now. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Bro, like, just just to not, like, you know, just to cover the wound a little bit, right? It's like... Um, it's like, no, I'll cut you off for a sec. But it's no. like, Aaron Beans is like... It's like that sour lemon. You don't, like, you have it, but you got to take a bite, but you don't want it. Right, and then yeah. Bill McGee is like that. It's like that Macintosh apple, right? It's like Macintosh it's, apple. All right. It's like it's like kind. Of, it's kind of it's kind of too sweet, but but it's better than that lemon, right? You got to yeah. play. That's yo. Know, that's my little comparison right there. But hey, no, 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 no. You're right in every sense, bro. Like, yeah, like I, he's no. You know what Aaron Baines is? Every day that goes by that he plays the game, he's like an expiring fruit. Fruit. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yo, Masai, throw, throw, her, throw out the lemon, bro. You know, like, I really didn't like the fact, like, he really undervalued Serge Ibaka like that. That's not cool, bro. Like, looking at what he got in, in uh, with the Clippers, like, bro, yeah. how much did we really have to pay him? Especially looking back at it now because Giannis is now signed to a Supermax. Yeah. Like, what? Give him two year, Give him the two-year deal, bro. Like, what's the problem? Like Giannis or not, if Giannis comes, we still want Ibaka because he could fucking spread the floor. Yo, yo, don't even get me don't even get me started with that, yo. Like, like, yeah, I guess you wanted Giannis, but yo, we lost, we we lost, we were 0 and three, yo. There, we lost Gasol, lost uh, Ibaka, and lost Giannis. We were 0 and three. We could at least been one and three, or or like, you know what I mean? Like, and no, but on top of that, like, what I was trying to say was, like. Even with with or without Giannis, right? Serge Ibaka, yeah, bro. Serge Ibaka is a solid, solid piece. Like I, I even yeah. like this one. Like for me, like after the Cleveland series, I wanted to get rid of him, but like he got better over time. He got better, and him, him and Larry's connection just got like he like, stronger. Yeah, like to the point where like that pick and pop, that three point shot, everything, bro. Like he just improved on everything. His handles are still like whatever. It's so suspect. The first year, do, you, do you remember the first year Ibaka? That first game with PJ Tucker and uh, yeah, Serge Ibaka against that, Boston right? Celtics. Boston Celtics, yeah. You remember? You remember how shit he was, right? He wasn't the same Ibaka when you left. He was. He was. No, like, he. He his handles was handles were horrendous. From what I remember, his handles were horrendous. He was missing all those like those hook shots in his basket. Like you remember that game, right? And look at him now. Like now. He's a beloved Raptor, yo. Because, bro, he spent, what, three years here? And he won yeah. a chip. 100%. But yeah, let's he, see. He, sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say, but yeah, let's see. Masai, get rid of Aaron Baines and expire Lemon. We, we're playing Milwaukee back-to-back next, nah, like, after this too, bro. That's the thing. But they lost to OKC Thunder today. Yo, I, I don't know, man. Something's up with Giannis this year, yo. Like, I, like Giannis, like, I don't know, yo. Like, no, they, they don't have Drew Holiday right now because of COVID. 
Yo, Drew Hall. Okay, we're talking about Drew Holiday, but Drew Holiday's mad underrated, yo. Like Drew Holiday, like. Okay, we'll I would have. But yo, but yeah. If I was if I was the Raptors, I would have tried to trade for him because his age is not that different from Van Vliet and. Uh, it was like yeah, a few yeah. Years more. For sure, for sure. But Raptors, um, yeah, they shot forty-two percent from the field, thirty percent from three point from the three-point line, eighty-four percent from the free throw line, but they missed the two crucial free throws to to get the possession to one, to make it a one-possession game. That and, was huge. Sorry? That was huge. That was huge. Those, those, those two. Yeah, those and then... Sorry, say again? Those misses hurt us, yo. Like we, 100%. Yeah. They, even Matt Devlin and his ship were saying, like, these misses might come back to bite us in the ass. And Minnesota, like I said earlier, 52% from the field, 41% from three, and 74% from the free throw line. They had 40 rebounds. We had 38. We had 10 offensive rebounds. That's actually surprising. That is pretty good. That's surprising still. They had five. So we had doubled their offensive rebounds. They had 28 assists. We had 24. Steals, we had six apiece. Blocks, they had eight. We had three. Turnovers, they had 18. We had 11. Points in the points in Hussai? No, I said geez. Points in the pain, we had 40. And they had 44. We had 52. Second chance points, bro. We had 19, they had six, and we still lost. Yo, that, I don't know. Fast break, po- bro. Fast break points, we had 15, they had four, bro. Yo, listening to these stats just pissed me off, man. It came down to the speed throws, yo. Like, I just want to, like, man, like, if, if we had a GoPro on my head during the game, you would, you, like, legit. Yeah. Yo. No, but I literally, no, but I literally thought when Pascal had that, when he brushed off Vanderbilt or Vanderbilt, yeah. whatever, whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When he brushed him off and he had the layup right at the basket, I thought, we're, okay, this is it. We're going to overtime. We're going to win this game. Yeah, yo, he ate him, man. Like, yo, he was like, yo, he he bullied him and he missed, he missed the layup. Um, our points of turnovers, we had 22. They had 19. Biggest lead for us is six. They had two. Their, their biggest lead was 12. And um, fouls, we had 22. They had 26, bro. That's crazy. Like, for the most part, bro, like, in terms of, like, the quarters, we had them. Ooh, damn. It was the third quarter we, we messed up. Yeah, is that 20, it was a 12 to run or 22 run. It was a 22 run, I think, or, like, a 12 to 2 run. Something 12 to like two. that is what, is what killed us in the third. Yeah, because they, because they outscored us by 12 in the third quarter, 37 to 25. Yo, Man, honestly, if I was Nick Nurse, I'll look back at this game and I'll be like, yo, we got to find the yeah, way. This is one that got away. We have a really hard schedule coming up, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm going to tell you exactly who we have because I know for a fact I've seen this already. No, we had we had Wolves. We have two games with, with Bucks. And we have, I think, no, wait. I think we have two games with Bucks. And, and we have Wolves, Wolves, Wolves again. After. Wolves again, yeah. So we're not playing Wolves. We're not playing Wolves next. We're playing Bucks back to back. Yeah. We're playing, we're playing the we're playing the Wolves on the 19th. Yeah. We're playing the Bucks on the 16th and the 18th. And then we have Philadelphia back to back. And then Miami, Houston, and then Chicago. Yo, this is a hard stretch, guys. Raptors, if you're seeing this, man, pull, pull up. Who would you, if you, I, I know like this isn't an appropriate question to ask you, but if you were to give a star to the best player on the Raptors today, who would you give it to? Yo, uh... I would say Kyle Lowry. Man, Kyle Lowry, like, see, Kyle Lowry held it down for us, man. Like, but I think for me, I would give, um, I would probably give my, my, my start to, uh, probably Powell, man. You say Powell over, over Kyle Lowry? No, the reason why, okay, so the reason why I'll pick Powell is, um, Powell has had a silent 22 points, yo. And at the end, um, when 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 Kyle Lowry uh, had that grit had that gritty move where he uh, got his own rebound from his yeah. own, got his own rebound and then poked it out uh, and Powell was the one who grabbed it and did a little spin pass mm. then, like those little extra hustle plays to me like win it right um, no, that, that that sorry like sorry to cut you off but like that's exactly what I was going to talk about like Norman Powell's points all came in the first to third quarter like the main yeah. point right okay? I'm talking about like the whole like, game? Lowry, like Lowry, even though like you're giving the star to Norman Powell, 
I feel like Lowry made the clutch plays when it mattered most. Yeah, yeah. In the fourth quarter. No, for sure. Which is why I would say I'd give the gold star to Lowry. But if you want to give it to Norm Paul, I, I can't disagree with you. I can't get mad at that. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. I, I think Lowry's also a good, I, I think Lowry's a good pick as well. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I got to give hats up to Paul, man. Like, Paul is stepping up, right? Like, like the thing is, we we expect those kind of stuff from Lowry. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, being a Raptor fan for years, like, we expect that from Lowry. But, yeah. but like, from Powell, like, this past season, he's emerging, right? So, let's see. Let's see where it goes. Even, uh, sorry, to get to, to um, bounce off your opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, from Powell, like, even before the bubble thing happened, like, when the, you know, when the shutdown happened. Yeah. Powell got player of the week right when we were playing Utah, and then he got injured in that game. Yeah. And he wasn't the same player after that. I mean, he did do it up for us, I believe, in game six against Boston to, yeah. to push it to game seven in the bubble. Yeah. But all in all, he, he won player of the week that, that same day we played Utah. Yeah. When yeah. Uh, got tested for positive in COVID, for COVID. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, okay, so, but, but that being said, right, like, we're, we're giving stars to players who think we did well. But who do you yeah. think? Was was the worst player today? Like, uh, you know I mean? <laughs> thank you, for, thank, thank you for jumping to that because I was gonna be like, "Who are you throwing under the bus tonight?" <laughs> All right, let's that's Terry Segmio. I mean, I already, I, I already know who you're gonna say, but I just want to hear it out of your mouth. Yo, you know it, man. The bucket, yo, the bucket, Mr. Aaron Baines. <laughs> really? Oh, really? Aaron Baines? I thought you were gonna say Pascal Siakam, bro. So, yo, so. So I was gonna say Pascal Siakam. I, I legit was gonna say Pascal Siakam. But you know, after seeing uh Baines Baines's uh stats today, I'm like six points fam. Yo, you couldn't get any rebounds. No, but yeah, no real shit. Um worst play of the game is Pascal Siakam, hands down. Um straight, straight, straight. Pascal Pascal, the reason why is yo, we it's like yo, we gave you the key to the city, man. We gave you the torch and like Oh, and like you, we we gave you a platter full of like the most juiciest fucking food, man. And all you had to do was to dunk it in or like get that get that shit in. But instead, you were you just you know you know what it you know what it is, right? Fred Van Vliet and Norman Powell they're performing like the way like the way they are. Yeah, they're eating that good good juicy Osmos right now, right? Uh-huh. They need to get on that. You seen the commercials, right? Yo, Osmos, man, mail, mail my guy, uh, mail my guys Pasco Siakam a platter or something, yo. Put right. him on the put him on the commercial first, though. Where yo? Put him on the what's it called? Uh, sticks, chicken on sticks, <laughs> yeah. chicken on the sticks, boom. Chicken, no, chicken on the rocks, chicken on the rocks. With the extra extra hot sauce, yo, three lines. My, my man's eating too much. Uh, thing peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, that was, that commercial. Man, jiffy. But. Call Anthony Towns today though, like bro, like call Anthony. Yo, you know, oh, I just remembered, bro. Rubio was playing like he was fucking Steph Curry today. Uh, pardon, pardon for the language, but he was playing like Steph Curry. The way he was shooting the threes, the man came into the game shooting like twenty percent from three. Yo, but 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 the, but I'll be honest with you, man. Like R- Ricky Rubio is not shit. Ricky Rubio no. is actually a good player, yo. Like yo, like like you. I don't know if you remember, but like. I think he was like 17 or 16 and he was playing the Olympics against the USA team. And this guy was like lights out for Team Spain. Do you remember do you remember that? Yeah. Right? No, it no, was, I remember it. Like, bro, like people, people were was, always uh, wiling about his passes. Yeah, no, I think it was like him. I, th- I think it was him, Paul, Paul Gasol, Marc Gasol, um, Garba, Garba Hosa. I think that's that's the roster, I think. And and Calderon. And then uh Ricky Ruby just 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 was was just, just lights out, man. He was sick, and then like, but yeah, but that, but yeah, but but I, I don't think Ricky Rubio was shit, yo. I think he's actually. Pretty- oh, I mean, I, I I don't think he by all means was shit, but like he always came in no, be, being known as a facilitator with yeah, his flashy yeah. passes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it you know, like so. Minnesota messed up by not draft. They had two picks before Steph Curry. They messed up. We got DeRozan in the same draft in two thousand and nine. And Steph Curry went right after that pick, I think. I think, uh, yeah, he went, for, yeah. They had the fifth or sixth pick, and then I think um, Warriors picked uh, Steph Curry at seven. Yeah, but I know we're on topic of Steph Curry, but imagine if Warriors pick Monte Ellis over Steph Curry. Imagine that. 
You right? Yo, yo where is yo. that? Who, who, whoever the GM was at that time was like, yo, I'm picking Steph Curry over Monty Ellis. So hats off to you, yo. Was yo we, cool. Even with the injuries and stuff, but even yeah. with the injuries, they were able to get him on a discount, which yeah. is why Kevin Durant was able to come to them in that 20, uh, 2016 summer. Word. They signed him to a four-year, $40 million deal. So when they won those three rings in that span, yeah, the man was on was making only $10 million a year. That's, that's, that's right. But, like, I mean, bro, like, overall, Carl Anthony Towns today, like, I mean, he didn't have his best game. I didn't want to talk shit about him because, obviously, he's been through a lot this whole season. He got yeah, COVID. He lost his mom. I respect Cat, yo. I respect Cat, yo. I think Cat... Uh, Cat's a good dude, yo. I met I met him a few years back in the Ultra game, yo. Uh, oh, you actually saw him? Yo, we, like we ran into him. We were like, yo, it was uh, it was pretty dope. I um, was it the one in Toronto. Yeah, it was the one in Toronto. Uh, let me see if I can find a picture. Still, I where was I? We were at ACC, and then um, my brother and I ran into the big cat, yo. This is us, still. Hold on. Oh shoot! Yo, that's my boy Cat, yo. If you see this. Yeah. Shout out to Carl Andy Towns, man. That guy's been through a lot this season, though. Where, yo? Poor guy, man. Yo. He, lost his, he lost his mom to COVID. He got COVID. He lost, like, six other family members to COVID. Where, yo? But, yo, he promised his niece and nephews that he's coming back, yo. And he did. Yeah. But, yo, hats up to him, man. He he had 20 and 11 today in 33 minutes with three assists. He had a couple threes. He had seven turnovers, though, with three blocks and a steal. Anthony Edwards, a rookie for the for the Minnesota yeah. Timberwolves. First overall pick. Yeah, number one overall pick. He had uh, 18.7 rebounds, three assists in 34 minutes, along with, uh, what do you have? He had two turnovers and he had a steal. Rubio, Rubio both, Steph, we, can, we can call him Steph Curry against the Raptors because he doesn't miss them three-point shots. Oh, a lot of players tend to, like, just kill against us, yo, like, Ricky Rubio, um, who else? There's another guy. I think Bradley Beal always kills us. This, this, Marcus this, Smart. Yeah, Marcus Smart always kills us. Yo, there's always like random players. It was, it's like Ish Smith. Uh, bro, there's so many. Jeremy Lamb. Who else is there? There's, bro, there's so many. Oh, Gerald, Cameron, Henderson, Gerald Henderson used to be one of the guys. Yo, remember Cameron Payne? Cameron Payne used to uh, do, do well against us. I don't know why. Cameron Payne was on our team for a bit and we let him go. And then that's, what, that's how he ended up on Phoenix. Oh, that's true. Um, bro, I, I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, honestly, like you said, like off, obviously off camera, you didn't, you were so frustrated. You didn't know how you were going to talk on this podcast. Yeah. Me too. Like I was pissed off, but like, I'm like, like the podcasts are all about the raw emotions, right? Yo, real shit, man. Like I, I was like, I was beyond pissed when I saw that play by Pascal. Like, like, there's so much trust and faith into this guy, and this guy just blew it, yo. And I was like, fuck, man. Like, sorry, my my language, but I was like, eh. yeah. And I was like, I was just like, oh, I just want to. The real question is so we have Milwaukee, right? We have Milwaukee back to back. We have Minnesota. We have Miami, Houston, and we got, uh, I think it was a Philadelphia. I can't remember. Yeah, but in those, in those, is it Philadelphia? Philly. So that's about what, six games, is it, or seven games? I think so, yeah, six, seven. So, do you think we can get to five hundred through that schedule or no? No, it's gonna be tough, man. Um, because we don't know if Drew Holiday is playing against uh, playing for Milwaukee when they play us, right? Because of COVID Dude, protocol. It, I think we're gonna split against the Bucks. We're gonna split. So, you uh, think we can actually win one against the Bucks? Yeah, we might. You might steal one. So, just okay. because it's back to back, like not like it, we're playing. We're playing them back to back, so. We might we we might be able to steal one, and mm-hmm. then uh we're gonna steal one back from from Mini, and then Philly. Yo, I think I think Philly we're gonna split with them as well, man. Bro, we're not not we're not stealing one from Minnesota. We're gonna rape them next game. Hundred percent, no, hundred percent. Bro, yeah. if, if we lose two to Mini, I'm not watching them for the rest of the season. Nah, I will obviously, but I'm no, just saying. Watch them. No, we're... Bro, you out here? For, you're you're out here taking the pictures with all these. All stars, eh? Yo, that's my oh, yeah. that's my mood right now, yo. Oh, he's, going cross, he's going cross side though. You saw him go cross side? Huh? He looks the extra cross side there. Yo, that guy, yo, that guy's a like Captain Phillips, yo. Or whatever that pirate is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. <laughs> oh my god, bro. 
No, and I'm gonna sleep yeah. nine. I'm gonna sleep now like this. Yeah, no, I appreciate you for coming on, bro. Because like, honestly, like I understand, bro. Like me, even like during these losses and stuff, bro. Like I'm stressed out too. But this yeah, yeah. is a way to get it out and vent, you know, like vent and get it out. Honestly, yo, my takeaway for today's game is, yo, we gotta find someone else to close the game for us, right? Like we gave Pasco three already. He didn't. He's zero and three now closing games. I can't remember if he ever pulled through, but. We gotta find new clothes. He pulled, he pulled through two times. I can I can tell you off the top yeah. of my head. He pulled up. Yeah. Uh, he pulled it off against Philadelphia, which I told you already. Yeah. And that buzzer beater against Phoenix when Kawhi Leonard didn't play that game. But that's when Pascal wasn't really like known, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like now he's known. But like like now he's like he like I haven't like I can't think of any games he pulled through for us this year. You know what I mean? Like I can't. Oh no, he, no, nothing this year. Right? No. So like we need to find new closer. That's my. That's one. Find new closer. We all, but we always needed a closer from the beginning. Pascal's not that guy. Pascal, in my eyes, is like Chris Middleton. He's a third option. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because Kyle Lowry, no matter what anyone says, Kyle Lowry is our number two option. Fred Van Vliet, you can put in that mix for the number two option if you want. But I trust Kyle Lowry more than Fred Van Vliet and Pascal, 100%. 100%, you know, 100%. But yeah, that's my takeaway. We got to find a closer. It can't be, it can't be Seattle anymore, yo. Got to find a new closer. And we gotta like we gotta take these guys to Chuck E. Cheese here and get them those <laughs> man. Get them the, the the baby pizza. Yeah, and the free throws, man. We gotta pack those free throws, yo. It's like um bro, I just wish like we can be home. Like that's what I I wish these guys would come play back at uh Scotia Bank. So legit, I'll be first in line too at, at those games, yo. I'll be I'll be running in, I'll be chasing them, like yo, let's go. Get it going. We're playing Milwaukee uh first games on Monday. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I jinxed it. I had a podcast with my brother. Uh, Wait, we're we'll playing tomorrow? No, no, no. On Sunday. Uh, Monday, Monday. Sorry. Tomorrow's Monday. It's a back to back? It can be. No. 16th. Oh, yeah. Tuesday. 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 Sorry, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. I tripped, <laughs> yeah, I tripped off for a you second. Know, I was like, um, well, I did a podcast with my brother. Yeah. And I jinxed it. Like I'm like, we're gonna we're gonna cream um Minnesota Timberwolves. We're gonna whoop them. And bro, like it shouldn't have been that close. I don't get it. Like, I don't understand. Oh, OG, please come back. Quick. Well, I completely keep forgetting OG's still on our team. Yeah, you know, yeah. we we need we should sign Rondé, bro. That guy's uh his name hustled and literally, bro, that's what it is, bro. He he He's a yo, grinder. We, we should get Rondé on this, yo, podcast. When we become, become big and shit, get Rondé on this and talk, about, talk to him. Uh, talk to Rondé and get him on. Get a uh, a campaign going for Rondé to be back on the Raptors. Uh, yo, every like for this video, we'll put towards Rondé's, Rondé, Austin <laughs> Jefferson's. I, ironically, you know, he was on Minnesota's uh, yeah, um, yeah. preseason. Yeah, you know, he right? was, he was, I remember. And then, and then they cut him. But he was the one who stopped Carl Anthony Towns when we beat them. The yeah. last time to be a winning streak. I don't know, man. We'll Anything, see. Bro, I gotta get going. Yo, yeah, bro. No, no. 100% I appreciate your time. I know you want to go punch some walls right now, but like. Nah, bro. I want to beat some shit right now. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm that, didn't even, that, did, that didn't even sound right. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, no, we'll be back with the next podcast on what? Tuesday night against Milwaukee. So then, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I didn't even mention that earlier, bro. Yo, my, yo, my, all this... my, heart, my heart is broken due to Pasco Siakam. My man ripped it apart and just demolished it. To all the single homies out there watching uh, watching the, watching the our podcast and watching the internet in general, happy Valentine's Day. So all my homies out there that are single, now I know how you feel when your heart's ripped apart, yo. It's been a minute, yo, so I got my ripped apart. But hey, now I know how you feel, yo. We'll be back. <laughs> I can't even say it. Yo, we'll be back Tuesday, Tuesday night to talk about uh, the W against All Milwaukee. Right. Let's go. Cheers. Let's go, Raptors. Peace out. Easy.